mount the panels on top of metal sheets. One is you can use it on top of the purlin itself. So you can see the purlin here. So you can basically place the panels exactly on top of the purlin by placing an L bracket over here and then a rail on top of this and then the panel on top of that. But if you see, if you have to match it exactly as per the purlin, we would have got only one row of panels, maybe the second row over here below. So we would not have been able to install four rows of panels. So in order to be able to generate or get the maximum from a roof space, the best option to go for is the mini rail structure. It follows exactly the profile of the roof. There is absolutely no gap between the aluminium structure and the roof. And the drilling that happens on the inclined portion of the sheet. You never drill on the valley of the sheet because this is where all the water flows from. So no drilling on the valley, everything that happens on the inclined portion where there's no accumulation of water. And we also, if you can see between the structure and the sheet, we use a EPDM washer and we've used EJOT screws, which are SS304 screws with basically a bonded EPDM washer. Now aluminum 6063 is the alloy that makes sure that basically you don't have any corrosion. It will not get corroded even over a 25 year period. Tomorrow, if you want to remove this particular structure, it's very easy. Use a drill machine, remove the screws, the entire structure will come off. So you can take these off also very easily.